had a few people ask about custard apples recently and last year at this time we had a few custard apples to sell. This year the timing is different and that happens a lot with custard apple. Uh, you know we've had fruit ready in February and I think we've even had fruit into April. It depends on the weather and this year it's not an early year for the fruit. Um, what happens with later fruit especially is it seems to get bugs. So we made a big effort to bag fruit and basically when we were bagging fruit we were looking for fruit about this size uh, and so for of course green. That's fruit that you know just died on the stem but this was not here you know these at least were not green when we were bagging this fruit. We bagged a ton of fruit in this area but other fruit emerged later on and we did not catch it so we have these fruit for instance did not get bagged so far they look pretty good but we don't really know if they're going to develop nicely or not and here's a little problem with bagging fruit that's we can see right here is that Tying the bag around these stems actually starts to girdle the stems. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get these strings off and ungirdle it without destroying the, the drawstring, but that's going to be my project today. I think some of them are easier than others. Uh, this one looks like it might be easier, but if we had had uh, the time to do this, it would have been a really good thing to do as the, the fruit were growing. It really seemed that these fruits suddenly got big. Uh, you know, of course, that has a lot to do with being busy on other projects, but they went from being very insignificant, you could barely see them, and then it seemed like, you know, overnight they were, you know, teenagers. It's sort of like kids, you know, you blink and all of a sudden they're all grown up. But um, these fruit are looking good. But interesting thing is that, oh, here I'm finally making some progress on this string. Uh, but we have another tree, another custard apple in another part of the grove. And that one had some young fruit. We didn't bag it. I'm not sure if it was because we didn't bag it or from some other uh, environmental um, variable, but there are zero fruit on that tree. And last year we had actually four wonderful fruit from that tree. So this is interesting. I can't pull the stem out, but obviously this has been girdled uh, and that's should be okay anyway. Uh, I'll just lightly tie this around again, so it'll be easier to, to undo. Uh, the risk of the Onona seed borer attacking the fruit is pretty much over. That happens when the fruit are very small, but it's good to leave the bags on um, right at this stage to protect from animals. Uh, just as people really like the custard apple, animals do too, and they have that unfair advantage of having really good um, senses of smell, and they seem to to uh, just be drawn to this fruit so when it starts to ripen before it looks ripe. So anyway, we're going to try and protect as much fruit as possible. So I'm not sure when any of these fruit are going to be ready to pick, but I'm really happy that we've got a lot of them protected by bags. Uh, we've had some emerge and, you know, after our bagging project or we didn't see them when they were small. And I'm hoping that some of these develop too to their maturity. But right now we don't have any fruit to sell. These fruit have to get much bigger before they're ready.